In this video, I want to show you how to use the power of AI to convert your BS or MS research project into an article for publication. And so here I have a BS project and I wish to use the blend of ChatGPT, Sites.ai and GPT-4 to convert this research work into an article for publication. The first would be I would copy the topic of this research project, I would get to chat GPT and leave a prompt of I wish to write an article for publication on the topic and I would tell the prompt or tell the model what exactly to use. So I get on it and the model gets along to give me an outline for this project or for this article it gives me methodology it gives me results it gives me conclusion and future directions and um, references a beautiful one i think it has almost the basic parts of what i an ideal article for publication should be and so what do i do next i copy that outline it has presented copy all of the outline as presented and paste it here again and say using this outline using this outline give me a sample draft of an article for publication on the topic i could paste that topic again i could paste that topic again write for me a sample draft on the topic above so it gets there and it's going to give me a sample draft of a likely project or article on that topic it gives me exactly as it was outlined so i wait for it follow it through and through and through and through okay it gets up to the model as it continues remember i already have researched this for my bsc and so i would basically be comparing what it has against what i did and I would pick places, uh, it doesn't give me very good information, and I bring it back here. So I have an introduction, but like you know, an introduction should have um, several references. This doesn't have. So I'll copy out this from ChatGPT. Even if it had given me references, the references will be fake because ChatGPT does not give real references. So I pulled out this work and I take it to gpt4 on beam and i'll paste it there and i'll say rewrite rewrite this to 300 words with in-text citation with index citation and references in apa style i hit on go and this powerful model, GPT-4, would spin around the internet and gather some info for me that would detail this work further. And as you see, in Vancouver style, it's giving me references and from where it is speaking, um, the different points from. And it's going to redesign or rewrite that work for me in any style I want it. So there you go. If I want another sample, I'll eat for another sample. But that it has not given out my references exactly the way I want it. So I could copy out these references. I'll copy out this work that I've written out. 
and take it to site gp um site ai the academic referencing uh, ai model i just hit on go and it will spin into the internet and it will pull me good and beautiful references whatever was written here where it was drawn from the article it was drawn from it will list it out so i'm waiting for it to spin and get me okay it is done this is where it is referencing from it had no, no need for this so it said from the pitch angle the pitch angle is important and this is an exact reference if I want to see where that work was gotten from, I could go here and it will show me where uh, that work was gotten from. Now, my literature um, review, I'll go back to ChatGPT. And in ChatGPT, I am going this time for the review of literature. Uh, what it had here was quite poor. I would say, okay, on ChatGPT, I would say, rewrite this in detail rewrite this in detail with references with references in 500 words if i wanted that much and so it will write that in 500 words exactly the way i prompted it now the key of getting the best out of chat gpt is being able to prompt the right an ai model is only as intelligent as the user and so if you give it intelligent prompt it would give you very intelligent response that's why we are having the age of prompt engineering so exactly 500 words this model would dig up for me a literature review in 500 words I'm waiting for it to come to an end it has come to an end and i have exactly 500 words i'll pick it out take it to site.ai i'll paste it there hit on go for it to generate out very good citation for me i while it's doing that i will compare each citation against um what i would have in um GPT-4, I'll put it on Beam, and I would ask this model to just look through it and give me something new. So I'm waiting for two AI models to um, rewrite this with citations, clear, clear citations. So I'm waiting for both of them. GPT-4 is already writing. Um, it's Is explaining what I have there for me while I'm still waiting let me go back to uh, okay this is done the blue part is the part it, it has um, written out it has gone through that work and found that um, it was not drawn from this is um, all an AI model it was not drawn from anywhere so I could go back to ChatGPT if I'm not satisfied with what I have gotten ChatGPT is still here I could say rewrite the literature review with in text citation and I'll hit on it and see what I'll get out of it. Okay, it is now citing, but remember that every citation, every reference you you get from chat gpt will be fake chat gpt doesn't have the ability to give real references so all the references you're seeing there in apa style are all fake so just wait for it when it is done you will copy it out and take it to sites um, dot ai to get the real references and so i have that review i copied it out and I take it to site.ai. It doesn't have word limit. Uh, it doesn't have prompt limitation. You hit on it. Just write anything. Just hit on it. It's already designed to know what you're looking for. It knows that whatever you have pasted there, you are interested in getting um, uh, real references out of it. So just wait for it to spin around. 
and begin to pull out references for you clear references unlike um, gpt4 on beam and um, chat gpt where you have to paste and give a prompt in site.ai you don't need to give a prompt all you just need to do is to paste your work he, he it's already programmed to know exactly why you have brought that um article to its space it will begin to go around the internet to score out um where each of the words each of the lines each of the sentences and paragraph were drawn from it, that it is done and this is the beauty of site.ai these are the papers from which um these and that was drawn from as you take your cursor close to one it will tell you exactly where it was drawn from and the, the paper by the right bar you could see the abstract of that paper all listed out somewhere there beautifully if you want to collect these references you just need to click on these and you have that references and if you also want this you just click on that hold it drag out and i go to a new page and i have my literature review if i want more i could go to chat gpt and continue to prompt until i get enough When I'm done with all of that, I will now begin to sift through what I had in my BS project against the outline chat GPT has given. And in the next, in, in less than one or two hours, I have reduced my BS project to an article for publication that is well referenced, it's beautifully written and has all the equations i have here I will be transferred to my article and formatted at very less effort that is the beauty of using ai models